Hello friends, good evening. <coughs> this is Grandmaster R.B. Ramesh from Prochess Training. Uh, please let me know um, if my audio is clear. Please let me know if my audio is clear. No static or echo. Okay, fine. So thanks for that. So let's uh, begin the session. So <coughs> today I'm going to show the training game uh, given on 23rd March for uh, group 2 to 4. A very interesting game. This was played in the match between uh, Grandmasters Yusupo versus Vasily Ivanchuk. And it was a fantastic match. And uh, most of the games were uh, fantastic fighting games. And very complicated games also. So if you are looking for some interesting attacking complicated games, uh, please go through this match played between Yusupo versus Ivanchuk in the year 1991. Okay, 1991. So this game was uh, eighth round, eighth game of the match, and this is the initial position, and it is white to play. Now you can see that in front of the black king, there are almost uh, no pieces right so all the white pieces are looking at the black king but the one problem which white has is this back rank right and the queen is ready to give checkmate queen c1 so this is one factor white has to take care otherwise white's position is fantastic our attack should win eventually but he is having counterplay and our bishop is also hanging now right <coughs> so this is the problem we face now we can try some interesting options to see how it goes so let's first analyze rook h7 now this is quite interesting but what black can do is first take here and uh, now both the bishops are hanging and also the rook so white has to take here queen g5 and <coughs> let's say after uh, king takes h7 you can take bg6 check fg6 queen f6 check and this is a perpetual check and it will be a draw isn't it so <coughs> rook at 7 is good enough only to play for a draw white cannot play for a win after this okay so if rook at 7 is not working then what other options we have so let's uh, try to consider other options now if you take knight e6 you can at least take queen t6 pieces are getting exchanged and the rook will be hanging right for example now if you try to win here this will be hanging right so this also does not work <coughs> so knight e6 sacrifice does not work knight h7 also does not work for knight h7 now i can play bishop h4 this is possible now if queen into h4 i can take bishop into d3 right d3 bishop will be hanging so <coughs> for bishop h4 he can try this move bishop g6 now the point is if you have g6 queen g6 check and then uh, maybe queen f6 or knight f8 so here what black can do he can counter sacrifice the point is if king into then we take g6 with check okay and the knight is hanging so if i move the king back rook of one is met right and if knight of eight queen of eight and black is having a healthy extra piece and then next to move queen of five can come and it's over so bishop of two check is coming and for uh, bishop of two check if you don't take king f2 and play the king here now this is only ending in a draw check no knight of eight idea mate so he has to take and we give this check 
okay and this will be a perpetual check all all checks will I'll keep giving checks if you play queen g7 okay and it will be a perpetual check so <coughs> for king h1 black should not take fg6 but he has another brilliant move which is bishop e2 <laughs> okay we attack the queen now if he takes queen takes e2 now we take fg6 and the rook is supporting the bishop and we are piece up so he will take knight of 8 queen of 8 and we have an extra piece and if we take queen e6 check attacking the knight we have queen of 7 which defends everything and uh, <coughs> black has only white has only two pawns for the piece and all the attack is stopped and this black should win okay and instead of queen e2 you can try queen g5 okay and for queen g5 the point is if you have g6 queen g6 you can try to make a draw but we can do this so the queen does not have any squares except this only one square is available and now this is attacked we can simply move <coughs> the rook to f7 now if he takes bishop of 7 king f7 now we see again white is a piece down and this knight is trapped okay so this position again black should win okay <coughs> so we saw knight e6 not working knight h7 not working rook h7 not working so what else is possible instead of directly going for mate the most powerful move is queen h3 this is what happened in the game now we want to take rook at 7 rook at 8 and mate okay and after rook at 7 we also have some crazy ideas like rook g7 check if king into g7 queen at 7 check all these ideas okay so queen h3 was played now let us consider bishop d3 when you are under attack you should try to exchange pieces but in this case after bishop d3 we don't take queen d3 but we take rook at 7 anyway we become a piece down okay now let us say he exchanges more and more pieces with bishop g5 now we take simply bishop g5 main point p we are controlling the f6 square so we are going to give rook h8 check when king g7 comes queen h6 or queen h7 will be checkmate okay so this is the point now how can black stop the mate so the only way to stop the mate is this the point is if we give rook h8 check he will run like this okay but here also we are winning we can give this check he will go here and now we take forced check okay and then we take the queen and this white should win only two pieces right but if you don't want you this you can also play for f6 instead of rook h8 you can directly go queen h6 to give mate and this cannot be stopped if you play rook f7 then rook h8 is mate king at sound king of sound will not be available anymore okay so <coughs> the conclusion is after queen h5 bishop d3 rook at 7 he cannot play bg5 now what about bishop f6 to stop this check but we can still give it check, right <laughs> and if bishop h8 queen g queen sound is met so this is also not working so bishop d3 itself is suspicious now you have other moves which is the best move is after queen h3 the best move is bishop g5 okay now this is also hanging so we have to take bishop h bishop takes g5 and now rook at 7 is threat so we already saw that bd3 means rook at 7 is winning right so he cannot do that so he has to play h5 now after h5 i have 
so catch five idea this is interesting gh5 now we cannot take queen h5 because bishop d3 is coming right queen h5 idea queen h7 made but we can take bishop into d3 so first we can try bishop h7 <laughs> and after king h7 queen check king, sorry not here mouse flip king g8 and no checks <coughs> and uh, black has one full piece up and a rook up okay and now you can play bishop at six threatening queen check mate but this can be easily defended i can bring my queen into the defense i am also threatening mate but my queen can easily come back so if you do queen g5 check queen g6 and black wins too many pieces up okay so rook h5 is a bad move very ambitious so g4 this is quite interesting now g4 the point is you want to attack the h5 pawn and more importantly we are also clearing our back rank okay so he has to exchange whenever you are under attack try to exchange pieces so bd3 now we take queen d3 <coughs> and here can play h g4 and now it's not easy to continue the attack because if you take rook g4 g6 is well guarded so white should try to attack on the h file and we are not able to play queen h3 because of the pawn on g4 and if you take the g4 pawn then our pieces become uh, they go to incorrect squares so you can try this move the idea is to take this is one idea the other idea is to go queen e5 okay and here he should play a5 queen e5 now rook h8 everything is threatened we have this beautiful move knight of 6 simply blocking this diagonal now it looks like a blunder but the point is the bishop was controlling queen c1 all along and we are simply getting rid of that now we take rook f6 also to stop queen e6 otherwise what can happen if you directly give this check i have this move. right now queen d5 means queen to d5 will come so to prevent this first what we should do we should take rook f6 also and after queen f6 we do queen check now if we give d5 i can take queen d5 and it will be a draw again so if i come king g3 queen f3 is met so you cannot do that so i have to come down and this is a draw <laughs> beautiful draw isn't it so here you see this is what he should have done he should have gone bg5 idea and uh, there are some other brilliant variations which is uh, bishop b4 one minute let me get that yeah so after queen h3 we saw bishop g5 we saw bishop d3 there is another move bb4 the point is if bishop d4 queen c1 checkmate okay so what we want to do we want to remove this bishop with the threat of queen c1 mate and also with the threat of bishop into g5 so we should take rook into h7 idea rook g7 or rook h8 mate so we take bishop d2 okay now if you try to give checkmate he will escape the king is escaping and if you do this i can escape right so this is not working and he is already threatening queen c1 mate bishop into d3 all this stuff and these two are stuck here not doing much so direct mating attack does not work so you can first try to distract now if you give queen c1 check it's not a mate because you can simply come back and now if you take i'll give check come up check here and rook of it f7 is hanging and white is an exchange up okay so this is also not working so for bishop a6 he should not take queen c1 check you can take queen a6 okay for queen a6 now there is no check threatened so it means white has time so you can simply take the queen inside 
all these mates are threatened which cannot be stopped and why it is coming okay so for this reason bb4 is also not working so queen h3 <laughs> yeah it's a very crazy idea so for queen h3 in the game he played h5 simply stopping all these mating ideas now unfortunately bg6 kind of sacrifice does not work because queen is supporting you cannot take queen e6 check okay so here the only way to continue the attack pachak okay now if you take bishop d3 then can someone find the mate here i know i am not giving any time to think for the audience uh, that is mainly because this is a very very complex game actually we can uh, take a session of 2 3 hours just to analyze this position but the whole point of uh, explaining in such a quick method is that uh, we run an academy process training and in that every week we are giving couple of positions to each group to play some training games with other uh, players of similar strength and when you play some interesting positions you can see already that so many variations i have shown from the initial position so so many interesting possibilities are there and we try to carefully select such interesting positions and give to our paid subscribers and uh, they play against each other twice every week and in this method we are trying to we will give some interesting end game positions close positions attacking positions sacrifices etc so they have already thought about this position they have played a game but they may not have all the analysis so that is why through these live streams we are sharing all this analysis so they can compare with uh, what they did during that game that's the whole point so i'm not giving any time to the audience to think yeah so rook g8 is <laughs> beautiful right uh, if king g8 queen at seven is made and if you take with this and check and if you come here snap okay so for rook h5 he cannot take bd3 so g h5 is forced okay now white has two options we can take queen h5 but the problem with queen h5 is bd3 it stops queen at seven mate and then the bishop will come and sit okay and the king will become very safe so queen h5 is a blunder so we have to give this intermediate check this is the main move now he has two options he can go king g7 or king h8 if king h8 then queen h5 we are trying to give some discovered check with the bishop so he has to attack the queen and now we can i can simply move the queen back okay and uh, again i am threatening to move my bishop back and give discovered checks so for this reason king h8 is not good so for bishop at 7 king g7 is the correct move and after king g7 we take queen h5 now there are multiple threats one threat is knight f7 if rook f7 queen h6 check or is coming okay or queen g6 check king h8 queen f7 all this is happening now this is the critical moment in the game so this position looks very scary for both sides isn't it if you are white you will be thinking you are peace down and if you are black you will be thinking Oh my God! I'm coming under strong attack. Look down. I'm coming under strong attack, right? So here he played uh, knight f6, attacking both. This looks like a very natural defensive move. And here uh, Yusupov found a very brilliant win, which is knight e6. Now if so, this queen at six and bishop. discovered check is going to come so if you do this i can give check and win the queen right queen is lost so he cannot take with the queen 
he took with the pawn. Now queen check, king here. Now you can uh, give anywhere along this diagonal. You can give discovered check anywhere, but he will go king g8 and queen g6. King h8, queen f6 will only be a draw. Okay. But at this point, white has a brilliant win, which white found. That is queen f, bishop of white check. Now let's see what is going on. This is first. Now we give check. Now he can never run to the king side because queen g6 mate. Okay, I'll just throw it on the board. This is mate. So he can never do that. And he cannot come here, he cannot come here, he cannot come here. So first check. Now again he can come here or g8 doesn't matter. Check. Again he cannot come for the same reason. So this is forced. Check. <laughs> so this is the key square. Okay. Now if he comes here, bishop e6, queen is lost. <laughs> Brilliant, no? So the queen has to come to h3. From h6, you have to come all the way back. And then take bishop e6, you win the queen. Okay, so now the question is, what if I come to g7? This is what happened in the game. You anyway take bishop e6. Now, wherever the queen moves, you have queen h6, checkmate. Okay, so if you moves the queen, queen f6 is checkmate. So, queen e6, queen e6. And this position, we have uh, three pawns. The bishop is also attacking. Okay, so he played a uh, bd8 and then g4. Place the pack rank and we are going to continue the attack. So in this attack, he won the game. Okay, so this question is completely winning for one. Now, is there a defense for black somewhere in this line? Yes. Where is that? So at this moment, after bishop at sound, king g sound, queen x5 check once you played knight f6 right which looked like a very natural move but that was the mistake and uh, after this game was over there was a lot of discussion between top grandmasters and uh, there is this grandmaster uh, Hubner, Robert Hubner uh, I hope I am pronouncing his name correctly so Hubner he gave uh, this fantastic line and remember this was in 1991 so this is pre-computer era. Okay, when so he just moved pieces on the board and he found this brilliant variation. And let us see. Now knight of south. Now what is the threat? If he takes bd2, queen check knight. Okay, so knight controls the h8 square. That is why knight f7. Okay, so why is not throwing the knight anywhere? So we have to take rook of seven. Now queen h6 check, king h8, now again bishop of 5 check, king g8. Now bishop e6 is a mistake because of queen c2. It stops this check and he is also taking knight. Okay? So bishop e6 does not help. So first queen g6 check this takes control of the square okay now is king of eight bishop e6 now queen attack now he cannot play queen c7 and queen of son mate is threatened so let's say queen c7 comes now we give this check now is king e8 we can simply take bd5 okay and we are threatening to play queen check and queen of sound all these ideas okay so <coughs> and we have four pawns let us say if the bishop and rook are removed we will still have four pawns for the piece which is not bad so not king e8 we can play with g7 Okay, now if you play bd5, black has a brilliant move, which is 
<laughs> the point is if you take g of g1, look into g6, and he has a completely star look. Okay, so bd5 is not possible by white. So you have to play this check. Right. Now if bishop g7, queen c1 net. So that is not possible again. So you can try this. Okay. And now I can play bd6. And this position, even though white is a full rook down, he has decent compensation. And this position is unclear position. Okay, he is not losing in this case. Okay, so I have shown uh, many interesting variations where uh, black could have played uh, correctly to make a draw, but you cannot claim this position as draw, isn't it? Very complex position, even here. So, there are few other interesting lines, but uh, these are the main ideas I wanted to share with you. This is also uh, well analyzed, I think, in Informator. Informator magazine, this game is analyzed. Of course, I checked with the uh, computer and added some more original analysis. I hope you all enjoyed this game. A very complex game. Yusupov is known to be a good positional player. But in this game, not just in this game, in this whole match, um, there was another game where uh, Yusupo won with uh, black pieces, and that is also fantastic. Um, he will be losing completely in the center and queen side, but he'll get a fantastic mating attack on the blacks, white skin side, and uh, win the game. So I hope you all enjoyed this game. Um, I would request you to keep a chess board in front of you set the initial position try to think this position over so those who have already seen the analysis maybe you should do this after one week or two weeks one or two weeks later when most of the analysis you would have forgotten then set the position in a chess board give yourself like 10 minutes to think and try to find all these analysis again in your mind and then compare with the video you can pass the video many times and then uh, try to find the most yourself okay fine so thank you very much i will end the stream with this see you next week same time good night everyone bye bye